Hi, I'm Matt from Ride Minded, and I'm here today to talk to you about the Sullivan Drift Trike. So sliders are a specifically designed trike designed for maximum drifting fun. It's an exhilarating action sport that you can do just about anywhere, whether it's sliding on the flat or sliding down hillsides racing your mates. The Sullivan Big Wheel Slider has a few really cool features. One I really like is our freewheeling front wheel. What this allows the user to do is to pedal flat out and then position their front pedals in that right position for that maximum drifting fun. We use a powerful front V-brake to allow the rider to slow down when they need to. It features a heavy duty high 10 S-Bend frame to allow riders of different ages and heights to ride this slider. We also feature a two position seat, which allow you to run this seat in a front position or undo the bolts and move it to a more backwards position as the rider gets older and taller. Now, my favorite feature on this slider is our extra durable rear slick sliding wheels. What this allows you to do is really get those slides going and get the slider sideways. The big difference between the Sullivan Drift Trike and a lot of the others that are on the market is that we use seal bearings on the front and on the rear. What this allows the Drift Trike to do is roll a lot smoother and a lot faster. To build our slider, we're gonna need a few tools. First one, five mil Allen key. Then we need some spanners. We need a 10 mil, two 13s and a 15. You also need a 17. I prefer to use a socket because of how you put the rear wheels on. It's a little bit easier. An adjustable spanner can come in handy if you don't have all of the spanners or you're missing one of the sizes. And a Phillips head screwdriver. Now that you've heard about the big wheel slider, let's put one together. First step, let's get everything out of the box. Right, now that's out of the box, let's take off all the packaging. All right, now that we've done that, time to start assembly. The first thing that we're going to assemble is the rear axle to our frame. To make sure these plastic caps are nice and snug inside the rear axle, just like this one here. Okay, for this part of the job, you're going to need two 13 mil spanners or an adjustable. So first part is to loosen off this bolt on the rear. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide the rear axle into the frame and line up the holes. Once the holes are lined up, we're gonna get our bolt with a washer. We're gonna slide it down. So we're gonna put both our bolts in with the washer. Then we're gonna turn it over. We're gonna place the washer over the top. And then next, we're gonna put on the nylon nut. And we're just gonna thread that on hand tight. We're gonna get our two 13 mil spanners, one on each side, and we'll just tighten that up. And we're just gonna tighten it till it's nice and firm. And we're gonna repeat the same for the other side. Now we're gonna install our slider wheels onto the rear axle. On your axle, you should have a nylon nut, two washers, and a spacer. First thing to do, remove the nut and the washer. Put them aside, then we're gonna take our wheel. We're gonna make sure the axle is aligned inside the wheel. Then we're gonna line it up, and we're gonna slide that wheel onto the axle. Might take a little bit of wiggling around, and simply slide it on. Then we're gonna put on our washer, to the outside, like that. And then we're gonna put our nylon nut on the outside. And we're just gonna thread that on first. So once we have that hand tightened, we're gonna get our 17 mil socket and we're gonna tighten that up until it's nice and firm. Now we're gonna swap it around and do the other side. Now we repeat the same step on the other wheel. So slide our washer on, slide our spacer on, Slide the wheel on. We have a little bit of thread sticking out of here. We're gonna get our washer, slide that on over the top. We're gonna get our nylon nut, put that on over the top. It's gonna hand tighten that one again. Then we're gonna get our 17 mil socket. 
So we're just gonna tighten that one up nice and firmly. We don't want it too tight, but just firm. So once you've got both wheels installed, just double check that they're on nice and firmly, but they spin nice and smoothly. And now we're going to install the handlebars. You'll need a five mil Allen key for this. to Take off the stem bolts, which we do simply by unscrewing them like this. Remove the faceplate and the bolts, rest the handlebars in. Grab your faceplate and bolt and simply rest it on there and just hand tighten. Grab your other bolt and just hand tighten that one until it's nice and firm. Now double check that your handlebars are centered on the stem. Once they're done up hand tight, grab your five mil Allen key and tighten them up. And you should tighten them up evenly until they're nice and firm. Now we're gonna assemble the front wheel. What we need is our front wheel and our clamp covers. The first step is to undo our front brake. We simply squeeze it together and it will separate like that. Next step, grab the front wheel, lift up the front end and slot it on like that. Yep. So we're gonna pull apart our clamp covers. So we've got everything pulled apart. Now we're gonna place the clamp cover over the bearing. First step, slide our Allen key bolts in. Slide the cover up into place and repeat the same for the other side. Washer on first, nut on next, and just hand tighten it. You'll need to grab your 10 mil spanner and your five mil Allen key to tighten up the bolts. Five mil on top, 10 mil on bottom. And you'll wanna tighten the clamp up evenly. Now that we've done one side, we'll just wanna repeat the process for the other side. Now just making sure, putting the bolt on, washer, and the nut and tighten. All right, now double check that your wheel clamps are nice and firm by checking the wheels in and spin smoothly. All right, now we're gonna put some pedals on it. The pedals will be marked with left and right stickers. It's important that we make sure we line up the left and right stickers to the left and right stickers inside of the crank arms. You'll see the sticker installed on the inside. Just match them up. Left with left, right with right. For our left hand side pedal, we're gonna install it in an anti-clockwise direction. We'll do that initially by hand and then we'll tighten with our 15 mil spanner. So once we've hand tightened that, we'll just wanna tighten it up and we're gonna to swap to the other side and do the right hand side pedal. So we're gonna tighten the right hand side pedal up next. The right hand side pedal goes in a clockwise direction. We're gonna initially tighten it by hand like the other side and then finish it off with the 15 mil spanner. Get a 15 mil spanner in that clockwise direction. Just tighten it up nice and firmly. The next step is to install the seat. There are two positions on the slider that you can install the seat. The forward position is for younger, smaller riders, so it's closer to the front pedals. The back position is for larger riders. You can change these at any time with your slider. It's really easy. So today, we're gonna to install it on the front position for a smaller rider. First step is to remove the nuts and then slide the bolts through those front holes. Next, we're gonna get our washer and our nut, and we're gonna slide that up and on. We're gonna hand tighten it first. We'll need to grab our 10 mil spanner and our Phillips head screwdriver. Phillips head screwdriver goes in the top, the 10 mil goes underneath, and we can simply screw tight, the screw on the top of the Phillips head screwdriver. And we'll just do that up nice and firm 
and swap to the other side. Remember, washer, nut, slide that on, hand tighten it for a Phillips head screwdriver, and then tighten that one up. And for the final step, we're gonna reattach our front brake and ensure it's adjusted correctly. So to reattach the front brake, we're simply gonna grab this section and we're gonna slot it in to here, like this, so it sits inside the cradle. So to tighten it up, we're gonna grab our 10 mil spanner and loosen off this front nut. So once we've loosened off our nut, we're able to slide that cable through and adjust the front brake. We're gonna adjust it and tighten up that 10 mil bolt until it's nice and firm. Then we'll double check our front brake. So when we're setting up our front brake, we just wanna double check that the brake pads are aligned to the rim. How we do that is you can simply just look at the brake pad, how it's aligned, and try and line that up with the rim. You can adjust that with this bolt here. So you simply loosen that off. Simply loosen that off. Double check the alignment. The easiest way is just to line that up. Pull on your brake lever so it holds the brake pad in position. And then we can tighten that Allen key bolt up. And then release it. So to fine tune our brake pad position to make sure it's in the right spot and aligned evenly to the rim, we just wanna get our Allen key, loosen this bolt off. We just wanna align our brake pad to the rim. We can just do that with our eye and tighten that one up. So when you pull on the brake lever, it should be nice and aligned to the, to the rim surface. If we have an issue like this one, where this side of the brake arm isn't returning, what we can do is we can tighten this screw here, which increases the spring tension, which will bring that arm back a bit. Perfect. Now that arm's working nicely. So what we wanna do is just adjust that spring tension so that both the brake arms go in evenly and out evenly. Now that we've assembled our slider, we need to double check that a few bolts are nice and tight so we're ready to take it out and get sliding. Really important, double check that your stem is nice and tight. So this is how we just tighten up that stem. Just get our Allen key and just make sure that both those bolts, we evenly tighten them so they're nice and snug. So we double check that that's nice and tight by grabbing our handlebars, grabbing our front wheel, and we make sure it's nice and tight and it's not gonna move around on us. Before every time we go to ride our slider, always make sure that all your key bolts are tight before every ride. Make sure your wheels are tight, Make sure your bucket seat is nice and tight. Make sure your handlebar and stem is done up nice and tight, along with your front wheel. Double check your brakes are in good working condition. Thanks for checking out our video on the Sullivan Drift Trike. For more videos, head over to our Ride Minded YouTube page. And I'm Matt from Ride Minded. Thanks for joining me.